The middle range uh, model theory that I chose was DEPI's quality caring model. As nurses, we all know that caring for a patient um, comes along with the title of being a nurse, but how uh, we care for our patients and our ability to show empathy and compassion um, to our patients is just as, as important as providing quality care. Patient satisfaction is directly related to how our patients perceive caring from nurses. As nurses, we know that our day on the unit can either be a good day or a bad day based on the relationship that is built with your patients. Um, when a patient perceives that a nurse is too busy um, or not compassionate or feels as if the nurse does not care, it affects their um, the nurse-patient relationship, which can impact patient outcomes. Uh, when a patient feels that the nurse is caring and attentive, rapport is established and the relationship is built and based on mutual respect and trust is formed, which directly correlates with better patient outcomes. Um, this theory can uh, directly relates to the four meta paradigms of nursing uh, by focusing on the person, the environment of the patient, um, the health of the patient, and the nurse, which I'll break down into different parts. So the quality caring model uh, relates to the person by developing a trusting relationship with the patient. By achieving rapport with the patient, the nurse can begin to encourage activities that promote healing. When a patient perceives that a nurse is not caring, the patient is more resistant to participate in care that is needed to promote um, health or their healing. This model of caring can create an environment in which the patient is in a frame of mind to do what is necessary to get better. Um, when there is a good nurse-patient relationship, it creates a stress-free environment where the patient feels cared for through uh, quality nursing inter interactions. Um, when a nurse provides patient-centered care by showing compassion and caring, the health of the patient is improved. So um, patients feeling cared for when the nurse um, listens to them or pays attention to them when they're talking or um, helps them figure out questions to ask the provider whenever they're rounding again, um, all shows that a, um, a nurse cares and that a patient and patients can feel cared for. Um, so when an, a patient actively participates in their care, such as asking doctors pertinent questions, um, there are better outcomes. Um, the nursing aspect of the four meta paradigms um, relates to nursing interventions. So interventions such as dimming the lights, um, providing a quiet and stress-free environment, or listening all go a long way with showing patients that uh, you care about them and their recovery, which in turn establishes rapport with them. In the clinical setting as a nurse manager um, in a post-operative unit, I round on patients daily and weekly. And when I round on patients, one of the main objectives is to establish rapport with each of these patients that I come into contact with. Um, and I show that I care about them as a person and as a patient. One way of doing this is um, active listening. So prior to my rounds, I generally have a, um, a set of HCAPS questions that I must ask, um, but I allow the patient to kind of guide the conversation. Um, by allowing them to speak and by listening to what they're saying, it allows me to build um, trust with the patient and um, it allows me to reinforce education uh, to the patients based on a relationship that I establish when I'm rounding on them. Often going um, through this um, or often towards the end of my rounds, um, we've had such a relationship to where the patient feels like they can share things with me and I'm able to reach them through like touch or um, show that I care about them um, with encouraging words. Another way of showing um, quality care during rounding is allowing the um, patient to participate in their care. Um, we all know about the dreaded whiteboard, but I'm, I use the whiteboard as a way to reach the patient and reinforce what the nurse has been doing on the floor. Um, I use the whiteboard as a way that patients can ask providers questions and they can remind them um, of the questions that they need to ask. So when a patient um, doesn't know their plan of care, I can reinforce what the nurse is teaching them. So these are all perfect examples of promoting better patient outcomes by following Duffy's quality caring model.